In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to continue looking at how to maximize the effectiveness of the theme designer. In particular, we're going to look at how to customize titles, customize backgrounds, and customize transitions. I have some media I've placed in my media room that's going to be wrapped into a theme. And so we click on the puzzle piece in the upper left corner and from the drop down choose theme designer. Now we get to pick our theme. I'm going to take the postcards, click on the box to choose all of the elements of the selections below, and then I'm going to click on OK. The first thing I want to look at is customizing the titles. I have found one problem with my copy of PowerDirector that I hope is not a bug for the rest of you. What happens is when I click the autofill button in the lower left corner and fill all of the components of the theme and then I try to type into the titles, my keyboard actually will not respond to some of the characters. I can't type the entire alphabet. So that's a rather odd thing. So what I'm going to do for the sake of this tutorial is simply type the titles in and modify those first before I put any videos or still images into my theme. If you run into the same problem, we have to let PowerDirector know because there may be a true bug in the software. But I'm not sure what caused it. I'll work around it. So what I want to do is alert you to the titles. Now what I found most helpful in trying to modify titles is I want to see them on the preview screen. So I take the playhead and I move the mouse and I drag it to the place where the titles appear. And here we have our titles just above my little hand and arrow. This helps me understand what kind of characters I can put into the boxes in the right for text 1 and if I have one text 2. How long can it be? Can it be multiple lines? These are the limits that I have to see before I start typing in. So we'll just change this to introduction. And then when we click on the second component, it will, we see it changes. And then we'll just say my vacation shots. And when we click off of it, it should change live. So it's important for me to see that. Now you notice that in each of these segments in the title designer, I don't have text. So this will be grayed out when you're in a segment that doesn't contain any text. If I go to the last one, normally the first and last ones do have text. We have text, but it's, again here it's going to look slightly different. So I'm going to move over to the frame where I have text, and here it is at the bottom on the left. And again, I can drag over the existing text and change it to whatever I want. You cannot change the font, you cannot change the location, you cannot change the character features. It's very limited, but it does give you a way to add some very simple titles into your title designer. So that's what I try to do when I try to guess what do I need, what will fit in the space provided for the titles in this particular theme. The second thing I'd like to show you is how to modify the background. We're going to go back to the first segment here and you notice I have a background in this one. The background is one of the default images in CyberLink PowerDirector, but notice what happened. It's very washed out, very subtle behind picture number one and picture number two. I can do two things with the background. First of all, I can click on the circle with a slash through it and remove the background. And now you notice when I play the segment, there is nothing in the background except a solid color. The other thing I can do if I want to modify or customize the background is click on the plus, then I can go to my file system, take any image I want, and I clicked on that, I took the wagon wheel, and now you notice it's still a washed out subtle look on this particular segment. And so I have my modified background on this segment. If I click on the second segment, that still has the default background. Let's move our slider over so we can see some of it. But you know it's the same. So if I want to modify the background, 
and make it consistent for the entire theme, I have to repeat this for every segment. Apparently, Cyberlink believes that you might want to vary it from segment to segment so they don't give you a universal way to change this image for all the segments in the same theme. You have to change each one individually. So that's how you can change the background. The third variation we want to look at is how to change transitions. To do that, I need to switch to a different theme that has transitions. I'm going to cancel this, go back to my theme options in my theme designer, and now we're going to pick one with transitions. Let's take this film strip, click on that, click on OK. Now in this particular segment, I do have some pieces where I have another box called Transitions. When this one starts, there are no transitions there, but it does allow you to customize. So this is what it starts out with. If I want to change the transitions, I can click on the plus, and that will open my Transitions room. And now I can go to any transition I would like. Let me do the blinds up, click on that, and then I'll click on OK. Now we'll go back and play this segment and watch and see what happens. If I decide I don't want that transition, I can simply click on the circle with a slash in it and it will remove it. Or I can click on the plus and change to another transition. Let's assume I want something pretty simple, like a little blur. We'll click on that. And now we've changed the transition for that segment. When I play it, I get the blur effect as we begin this segment in our theme. So that's what you can do to modify transitions. We can customize transitions and backgrounds and titles to make the final result what we're looking for in CyberLink PowerDirector.